LiPo batteries are a little bit different than your regular AA or AAA battery when it comes to management and how to treat them. But learning how to handle them is a very important part of our FPV hobby. That said, if you look around, there are many rules around LiPos and I'm not gonna get into that in this video, but you know, typical things are don't discharge them too much, don't overcharge them, uh, storage charge them after you have flown or after a while and these kind of things. But somehow, when we're talking about 1S batteries, it's like those rules don't apply. People tend to say something like, oh, if they swallow, just throw them away. Or if they start performing poorly, just get new ones. They are cheap. And I can even ask you, have you heard about a, a battery charger that does storage for 1S batteries? Today, I'm gonna give you some tips about how to handle 1S batteries, how to get them into storage level and with that, expand the battery life of these small batteries and you don't have to throw them away. Before that, let's give 30 seconds to my sponsor. Do you need a good service to print your circuit boards? I'm sure PCBWay will have the right solution for you at the best price. They don't only have different kinds of PCB like Flex PCB and Advanced PCB, but now you can get your circuit boards with higher TG at the same price. Imagine that. Remember, PCB Way can help you with many other services. Just go and visit there at their website and check all that they can do for you. And don't forget that your first order is for free. Flying whoops during the winter or when the weather is terrible, it's my main or preferred thing to do. And because of that, I have a bunch of 1S batteries, right? But even if they're cheap, I don't wanna just throw them when they start to perform poorly. I, I want to take care of my batteries, so I, I take care of my investment. So I'm gonna give you two methods of how to handle this, how to handle these batteries in order to keep them alive as long as possible. The first one is this nice board that I found from a company called Fractal Engineering. The guy that designed these boards is a very nice guy that just want to help us get those batteries to storage level. And in order to do that, what he did was to create this board, which you can connect your batteries to it. And then basically you turn those small batteries into a bigger battery that you can connect and use with a regular charger. It's very simple to use. You have six places where you connect the batteries in order. You have to pay attention. It's, it says 1S, 2S, 3S. And then you have to connect the batteries that you have in there. And depending how many batteries you have connected, you have to move this jumper here in order to match the number of batteries with the number there. That again turns your 1S batteries into a bigger, 3S, 4S, or whatever battery, and then you can charge it regularly with one of these ones to full charge, storage charge, or discharge, because now you're treating that as a regular bigger battery. The version that I have here has only PH2 connectors, but I believe if sells another kind or another board that has also BT 2.0 connectors. So you have both options and you choose only one of them per channel when you're going to charge. I don't have that many BT 2.0 batteries, so I'm fine with this board. The second tool that I'm going to show you today is actually a new product from VFly. VFly is the first manufacturer of a charger, a 1S charger that can do storage levels. This is great and this is a product that I've been waiting for a long time. They have done in this small shape, it has six independent channels. You can charge BT 2.0 or PH2 batteries. You can select what voltage are you going to charge the batteries to, if it's high voltage, 435 volts, or if it's low voltage, 420 volts. And you have this switch here, 
to choose between fully charged the battery or storage. In the case that you are going to storage and your battery is over the level of storage, the battery actually discharges. So this thing can discharge one S batteries as well, which is great. On the input side, you have an USB-C connector, you have an XT60 connector, and you have a 5.5 barrel connector as well. Those ones are typical from laptops, uh, power supply. You have the three options. The only thing you have to be careful is that if you're using, for example, a USB ch uh, charger or a USB power supply, it has to give you enough power to charge the batteries that you have here. If you use a power supply that doesn't have a lot of power, like for example, if you connect this to your computer, it might not be enough to even start properly the charger and you will see that it doesn't really work. You will see something funny on the screen that is like booting, but it doesn't end up booting or something like that. I think VFly did something very smart, including these three methods of inputting current. Because if you are in the field, you can use your XT60 with a bigger battery. If you are at home, you can use the USB-C if you have one of those chargers. Or if you have a spare laptop charger, you can use it with that as well. So it's very flexible. It's small, portable. Again, what's not to like about it, right? Something that I don't understand is why it's the first time that I'm hearing about a manufacturer doing this kind of product. I think it's something that a lot of people would like. The main reason why I have it now in the store. And I don't think this is something that is rocket science, right? So is there a reason why other manufacturers have, haven't done this before? If you know about that, leave me a comment because I, I don't understand that. The other thing that I have for you, the other question that I have for you is, do you understand why these kind of chargers don't do 1S? I mean, they have all the connections. It's a charger. Why can't they do 1S? I don't really know either. Do you? If you know, leave me a comment and educate me. So you have here two different tools that allows you to do the same thing. Charge, discharge, and storage charge your 1S batteries. I find both of them very useful. I like something special from this small charger is that it doesn't have a fan, so it's very quiet. And I can charge it whenever I want next to me and I'm not distracted by the fan that, for example, this one, it's even if it's not that loud, it's still a, a, a fan there sounding on the background all the time. I know there are other manufacturers doing something similar to this board uh, with some other kind of boards or there is even some cables. I believe that this one is pretty good. It's good quality. I've been testing it for almost uh, five, six months and I achieve what I want with it. I don't have any kind of problem and I think it's a good product. Hopefully I show you something interesting here. And if you think that any of these products is worth your money, I have them both at my store. Just go check them out and see if you want to have any of them. This is what I have for now. Thank you for watching and see you soon.